Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin and Coach Emily here to talk about the dumbbell shoulder press. So the first thing that we need to do when doing any shoulder press movement is go ahead and check that day's shoulder mobility, so our level of external rotation. So if Emily gives us an external rotation for, for us here, Emily has really good external rotation. So let's imagine that she doesn't. Um, so if she didn't have very good external rotation, or we could just use me for example. <laughs> so if you see here, I would need to be in a position where, or if I sat down and used this straight up and down bench, I would almost be pressing out and up. Okay, so that's kind of where I've set up this bench back here to give you guys just a little inclination and insight into, you can start to adjust where you are and start to adjust the bench angle relative to your ability to externally rotate. And so, for example, my ability to externally rotate is quite poor. I am exaggerating a little bit, but if I were to sit back on that incline, that would straighten that external rotation up really well and allow me to press in a vertical plane. So if you're someone that doesn't have very good, very good external rotation, go ahead and adjust or use an adjustable bench to better set yourself up. So as we're going through some of the execution here, so as we pick up the dumbbells, we're gonna go ahead and get into that position. So with this pressing movement, this is more of a standard dumbbell shoulder press to where we're gonna be working more of that medial delt and those scapular muscles. So there's another variation where you can actually just train or bias that anterior delt or front delt, and we'll show you that later in the video. So as we're here in this press, Emily's just gonna press up for me. The first thing that I wanna highlight is if Emily goes back down, we're gonna not only control the eccentric, but what we're going to do is as Emily's pressing up, we're gonna integrate this movement into a mix between pressing up and then having Emily actually drive her elbow into her ear, okay? So as Emily does this one more time for us, she's gonna integrate pressing up and driving those elbows into her ear or those biceps into her ears. And what that's going, you can rest. What that's going to do is actually give you the ability to further utilize bias and shorten those medial delt fibers. So now we're gonna go through some common mistakes that Coach Emily and I see a lot with our clients. So the first common mistake that we see is going to be kind of relative to what we talked about in the first part of the video, and that's the external rotation, or just where our arms are positioned. So depending on what it says in your program, it could just, sell, it could just say dumbbell shoulder press, and that could mean a few different things. So if it says dumbbell shoulder press, that's going to more specifically mean a standard press like we've just shown. So that means that we need to adjust ourselves and position ourselves and set ourselves up to be in the best position to press as we went over in the instruction previous. So if Emily came in, this is a common mistake that we see, and this is actually putting yourself in more of a biased bias position to train the front or anterior delts, okay? So as we need to adjust to our external rotation abilities, making sure, again, also that this wrist position isn't back or somewhat flimsy, if you will. So we actually want that wrist, that joint to be stacked and strong to be able to press. And again, that's going to give us a lot of ability to press and generate force as we integrate that up and in movement, allowing those triceps to fully get involved with the press. Another common mistake here that we see is going to be not stabilizing your upper body. So people can be very, very lax and even arch at that lower back to get yourself in a position that's more advantageous for you to press. So it's kind of your body compensating, if you will. So what she needs to do is compress, engage those abs, make sure she's nice and strong in that foundation. And also, next is when we're stable, as she's pressing, just allow the shoulder blades to naturally rotate and glide in that shoulder joint. And that's another common mistake that I see a lot is people trying to pin down those shoulders to this back pad. And that's why it's such a big deal for Emily to actually stabilize, compress those abs, and be in a very stable foundational position so she doesn't feel the necessity to drive her feet up against those and pin these shoulder blades back as that's going to limit range of motion 
and actually create impingement in the shoulder joint.